Hey everyone, it's Hannah Musette here and I'm super excited to show you guys this video today and I'm glad you clicked on this video because I am reviewing a wig from Wow Ebony, but it's not just any wig. It is a blonde wig, baby. It is spring. We are being daring this year, okay? And if you've watched my videos, you know that I do not do blonde, I do not do colors, but you know, it's spring, it's 2019, let's go out of the box, why not? Uh, so obviously I am going to have to bleach the knots off top. I'm gonna have to bleach them and then I toned them because I wanted this wig to look very snatched. Blonde can either be a hit or miss. So this is what the wig looks like after it has been toned and bleached. The black of the the black ombre kind of turned brownish because of the toning, but that's still cool because guess what? It looks good still. So this is what the wig looks like afterwards laced trimmed and everything you can tell it kind of matches my complexion for the lace so i am good on that and i was going to lay this wig down with got to be glued but if you've ever worn enough wigs in your lifetime and compared ghost bond to got to be glue you know that ghost bond is way better it holds way better and it lasts longer than got to be glued could but that's just my opinion so usually with ghost bond you do not put this on your hairline at all like touching your hair and you usually would need to put this on a wig cap but because I just feel like I should break the rules I put it on my forehead not touching my real hair because shoot I need my edges but I am recording this voiceover after I took this wig off and it was so easy to take off because I let that glue get a little bit tacky when I put this wig on so if you so the directions say to lay your wig whenever it is clear and add several layers so your wig can stay on. I'm guessing that's because they want you to have your wig on for maybe a month or so. But for my wigs, I always like to take them off and put them back on whenever I want. So leaving it on there when it's half white, half light um, allows it to be tacky but still stuck on there. But easy enough to take it off whenever I want to take off the wig. I didn't have to take this wig off with any alcohol. I didn't have to take it off with any baby oil because I didn't use a lot and I put it on when it was half white, half light. So this is what the wig looks like on my head. At first I was like, oh my gosh, what do I look like? I don't know how to feel about this because the hair is a little bit wavy before you comb it out and you straighten it. So obviously the parting isn't as prominent as a natural hair parting because number one, I didn't pluck the parting and number two, my wig cap is hanging off my head because I wanted to make this look as natural as possible. Um, I don't use wig caps up to my, um, up to my edges because I just feel like it doesn't give it a natural looking look for me since wig caps are a little bit orangier than my skin tone so I just use my natural hair color and my scalp for that but um, I'm just gonna go ahead part the hair and straighten it
For the top parting of my hair, I know what you're all thinking. You're saying, why don't you have a hot comb? Why aren't you making this look as bomb as possible? But you know what? I did not have a hot comb that day. I invested in one right after this video and I should have went back and filmed it. But um, for time's sake, I just thought that I looked good enough for camera with this wig to not get a hot comb beforehand. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did get a hot comb and it changed my life forever. I don't know why I didn't invest in one sooner. Bye bye foam, bye bye edge control. We are now using hot combs, or at least I'm now using hot combs. So I'm taking this um, Lotta Body foam and I'm going in with that and just trying to make this hair sit as flat as possible. I will admit that there's two braids in my hair that are a little bit lumpy on each side, so it's not going to lay as flat as I wanted it to be, but I really wish I would have laid those flatter because I wore this wig until my scalp started itching. So for about three days, I wore this wig around. Everybody loved it. My mom loved it, and she's usually a tough critic. My sister liked it. She usually will roast me first chance she gets. I loved it. I thought I looked bomb. and. I don't know, I feel like blonde is my color now because of this wig and I'm very glad that I got this from Wow Ebony because I see barely any shedding. The hair straightens super nice, it's super silky and it looks super natural. That's the best part of this hair. It looks bomb, it's natural, it looks sexy. Like I feel like I can be Megan the Stallion now, you know? <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in this wig, check out the description box below and it will surely be there. So thanks again and see you guys in my next video.